What's up guys, this is Ellie and welcome back to our Let's Play of Trine Enchanted Edition. Today's episode will feature the Tower of Sarek, Sarek. Uh, without any further ado, let's begin this episode. Ooh, this doesn't feel good at all. I probably missed quite a lot of... Uh, whoa, what's this? The thing is corrupted Quickly, as... Jump to the ledge. We must get to the top. So it's a race? It's a race? Oh crap! How do you get... destroy that? Okay. Interesting, it's a race with another magician or leech or type character making obstacles using the stuff they've already known. Oh crap. I didn't know you could make balls. It feels like I'm having a malevolent um, extra player fighting it out now. Uh, can I lift this? Yes, go away. Oh, the lava is rising. Oh, crap. Find me a checkpoint soon. Go away. Get lost. One, two. Oh crap! This might be a tough mission. Oh, and we died. Okay, that was fun, but all three of us died. Well, that was pretty quick. So, without have being able to be careful and make mistakes. This last mission is pretty fun. Let's retry that. Our heroes climb the stairs. Ooh, this doesn't feel good at all. I'll shoot you. I'll shoot you. Quickly, jump to the ledge. We must get to the top. <laughs> Wait, how did I get up here in the first place? Okay, one, two, eat that. Try different strategies. Let's go up. Oh, the plank stops them from rising. Interesting. Go up. Thank you. Go up some more. Uh, is it? Thank you. Grab that. Ouch. That potion should be a lost cause. Stay healthy. You can do this. Mana potion. Mm. 
Ouch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm glad that whoa. What's wrong? Why can't I get up? Uh, wizard, make a platform, please. One point. Very nice. As long as you can make it, you can do it. Uh, maybe a floating platform up here might do the trick. catch on fire right oh this is bad this is bad lava's coming uh we adjust it upwards Do we have to defeat this, or do we just need to run away? Hmm. Should still be climb, I think. But I don't see anything that allows me to hook. Lava seems to have stopped though, so that's not bad. Infinite spawning pits. Okay, this is pretty cool. Whoa. I can't imagine how lava manages to rise up a tower. So, okay. Whoa. Uh, we'll need a plank here. Ow. Focus. Kill yourself. Okay, these spawning pits are the pits. They really are. Okay, let's go up. Why can't you go up? Uh. Okay, make a box.
Oh crap. What's going on? Okay, we need to deal with the yeast spawning pits as we climb. Ah, okay. Reach the top. And with all three shrine artifacts combined. The three heroes were released. Hammer time! The artifact slowly restored the balance of the world. Life and its joys returned to the kingdom. In the spring, a new king was elected. The new king offered rewards to our heroes. The knight refused to become the captain of the king's men. Instead, he finally followed his father's hopes and acknowledged his other passion, that of food and ale. He became the king's royal ale provider. Well, after going through all that shit, I think, yes, you know. The thief was offered riches beyond her wildest dreams, but she felt a longing to go back to the forest ruins. The king granted her wish and gave her reign over the forest, where life slowly returned restoring it to its former splendor. As for the wizard, he finally understood that the road to success did not have anything to do with the fireball spell. He wasn't sure what it was, but saving the kingdom certainly helped. Of course it would. After being married a few years to a lady named Margaret, she gave birth to triplets. A charmed moment, many said. We also do not know whether the father felt pride, shame, or both when each of his children mastered the fireball before the age of one. <laughs> uh, but despite I everything, guess... they all lived happily ever after. The talent of fire lays in his veins. But we never figured out what the shrine artifact actually did apart from just stick all of them together. Hmm. Right, that does it for Shrine Enchanted Edition. Uh how I found the game, um not bad. I like the puzzles and action aspect. And uh, I did play a little on my own with my um someone else in multiplayer. Uh she uh, kind of liked it. Uh, didn't really manage to get very much through it yet. Although, uh, if we do have an opportunity, we would like to play the game together. And because uh, in multiplayer, if you choose one character, you don't have access to the other one. So it makes it a bit more challenging. So as multiple characters need to work together to get through that stage. And as you saw in the last stage, where the tower... Uh, of course, if you had someone focusing on fighting, then the other person can focus on building platforms and such. Uh, which kind of makes sense. Uh, so, for a game that, such as this, that can play multiplayer and single player and feel different, uh, I think that's very very uh, much to be applauded about this game uh, as of this recording period Trine 3 has been released and uh, according to reviews they said it was too short uh, I think I didn't get 
um, if I really wanted to, I could have completed this game in about 6 to 8 hours, so I'm not sure whether that is um, a fault of the developers. I think it's a good game. Uh, I really hope to see more from them, so if they do watch this, however unlikely, um, I do wish them all the best of luck in their future endeavours. If the game is made available to me, I'll definitely like to make a playthrough. Uh, I do have trying to, so I'll be doing a playthrough of that in the future, so look forward to that. Um, yeah, right, so, uh, currently, as of this moment, I'm still trying to get through my Dark Souls playthrough. That one is still kicking my butt. Uh, and if any of you have any suggestions on, uh, what games I should be playing next, do let me know in the comments below. Hmm. Right, I'm not too sure what the differences were between Enchanted Edition and the regular Shrine uh, because I have not played that before but the game ran pretty smoothly for me. So I hope you all enjoyed. Right, and as according to the uh, prologue, um, epilogue, sorry, uh, Thief has finally returned back to a f her forest. Right, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as usual, this is Ellie signing out.